Hey, welcome to Brighter Rays this week. This study is called The Substance Belongs to Christ. We're in Colossians 2, 16 through 23 this week. Today is the introduction, so in his book, The Last Battle, C.S. Lewis describes the end of his historical fictional world that he created. All the main characters had died, and yet the story continues. Lucy, one of the main protagonists, is said is really sad at the end of end of the world, end of Narnia, which is the magical world that they had visited. But she's corrected. She is told, but that was not the real Narnia. They had a beginning and an end. It was only a shadow or a copy of the real Narnia, which has always been here and always will be here, just as in our own world, England and all is only a shadow or a copy of something in Aslan's real world. You need not mourn over Narnia, Lucy. All of the old Narnia that mattered, all the dear creatures, have been drawn into the real Narnia through the door. And of course, it is different. As different as the real thing is from a shadow, or as waking life is from a dream. Now Lewis called this world, old Narnia, and England, the Shadowlands. The idea that this world is but a shadow is a very biblical idea. David said in 1 Chronicles 29, 15, Our days on earth are like a shadow, and there is none abiding. According to Psalm 39, 102, 109, and 144, life is like a shadow that passes away. In the book of Hebrews, we have a description of two other things that are like shadows. In chapter 8, the tabernacle is said to have served as a copy and shadow of the heavenly things. There is the true heavenly tabernacle, and Moses' was just an earthly facsimile. In chapter 10, we are told that the law contained shadows of the good things that were to come. They were not the true form of the realities. The sacrifice of animals was only a shadow of the true sacrifice that Christ gave. In themselves, they did not accomplish salvation. But with Jesus, by a single offering, he has perfected for all time those who are being sanctified. While the shadow sacrifices can never take away sins, the reality is Christ. The problem that most people have, and we as Christians struggle, uh, we struggle with, is falling for the shadow rather than seeking the substance. Spurgeon said, how amazingly foolish must those who must those be who will not have Christ when he is to be had for the asking. They prefer the baubles and the bubbles of this world and let the solid gold of eternity go by. O fools, to play with shadows and miss the substance. You dig and toil and cover your faces with sweat and lose nightly rest to get this world's fleeting good while you neglect him who is the eternal good. Paul had heard of the false teaching that was being preached in Colossae and other towns, and he wanted to make sure that the Christians were seeking the substance who is Christ and not settling for the shadows. Paul didn't want his fellow believers to accept the judgment of these false teachers. He didn't want them to accept their disqualifications, and he didn't want them to submit to things that are of no value. So that is where we're going this week in our study. So uh, next time we'll look at verses uh, 16 and 17 of Colossians chapter 2. And we're going to talk about how Paul does not want the Christians to accept the false teachers and the worldly people. He didn't want to accept their judgment. So come back and we'll start with that.